Hi, I'm Chris Urban, Pennsylvania Fish and Boat Commission, and today I'd like to talk to you about turtles. And this is a great time of year for turtles to be moving around, and we're gonna give you some tips and pointers about how you can help them. First, second week of June, they've usually made it already, so the females are, are starting to incubate their eggs and they're starting to think about places to go to, to lay their eggs. So they start to move out of those wet areas, the ponds and streams, and they're moving towards places that they can dig easily and they can deposit their eggs. And they're very determined. You'll, you'll notice that when you see them moving, that um, they, they have kind of a determined look. If they're moving across the road, they're always gonna go in one direction. And, and you want to make sure that, that you allow them to go that direction. You don't want to redirect them because what happens is they're going to go anyway. They're going to go back to that same direction anyway. This is one of everybody's favorite turtle. It's a woodland box turtle or, or formerly called the eastern box turtle. This is an adult female. You can see she's got a flat plastron and a little stubby tail. And she wants to go to a place to lay her eggs. So what we'd like to do is show you how you do that properly. Safety's first. Got to be safe. Um, pull over the road, put your, your flashers on. Make sure there's no cars coming. You might, if you have another family member, can even direct traffic. If you have a, a, an orange vest or something, that's even better. If it's a blind turn or a dangerous place, I wouldn't even attempt it. It's, it just becomes a dangerous situation. So what, what you're gonna have is a, a, an animal crossing a road or a path, and she's got a direction she's heading, and we wanna just make sure she gets into that direction so she can go lay her eggs. So take her out of harm's way. You wanna use two hands. One on the bottom, one on the top. And just get her off the road. Let her go about her way. You can watch her for a little while. Box turtles have a very small home range. It's like the size of a football field. Uh, so they're, they're gonna be breeding or, or nesting somewhere close to, to that. So you take them out of their home range and they become lost. So we have the, the wood turtle, old red legs some people call them. They have those, those characteristic orange or reddish legs. Um, kind of a wide head. Pretty golden eyes. Their, their shell kind of looks like a sculpture, a wooden sculpture, hence the, the name wood turtle. So as far as, as mobility goes, these guys have a very low profile and you can see they, they're pretty active and they can scratch you with their claws. So you have to be, make sure you hold them with two hands, hold them carefully and move them smartly across the road to where they were, were heading. So what we have here is a preserved snapping turtle, but like a, a live snapping turtle, this is often how you see it. It's crossing a road or a path. It's moving directionally. Uh, it's, it knows where it wants to go. It's going to a place to lay its eggs. I just found a stick next to the road and I, I'm gonna help this animal cross the road with a stick. And basically, it could be anything, any kind of utensil, um, a, car, a, tar, a tire iron or something like that. But you want, what you wanna do is just kinda move the animal, push it like this, and the animal will, will keep moving. It'll kinda get the idea uh, but you want to move it in the direction that it's, it's, it's aiming or it's moving. We want wild, Pennsylvania wild animals to be wild, so we, we don't want to take them out of their home. We have uh, over a dozen turtle species, most of which are rare, a lot of them are declining, and, and make, make sure you know which ones are, are rare and which ones aren't and what are legal. Um, like a wood turtle in a box store, you can't take out of the wild. The, the summer is here, the weather is warm, and turtles are moving. I hope you're fortunate enough to see some Pennsylvania turtles. And if you want to learn more about Pennsylvania turtles, see our, our website at fishandboat.com.